what I'm going to look at in this video is in Revit 2022.1 is the new format plugin which you'll find here under the massing and site tab uh, and there's a new option called 3D sketch and the little format logo and, and uh, brand is on it there and um, what that allows me to do is actually work between format and between Revit in quite a fluid way uh, this was a, a sample project I was working on earlier I, I created some Revit objects inside Revit and then I generated some format objects inside format and I, I switched back between the two so what I'm going to do is just go back into Revit. So I just started with a blank Revit project and with the architectural template. I placed some Revit geometry in this. What I'm actually going to do now, I'm going to select 3D sketch. I'm going to launch format. So what it's going to do is open up a new format project for me. Uh, but it's going to import this Revit geometry and I'm going to be able to add different types of format geometry in and around that as well. So it could be that this is existing information. Uh, we have it in Revit, maybe it's from point cloud scan, we've converted it. And then we want to start in uh, Format Pro, maybe just creating some sort of massing model. So what you can see here is it's brought in that Revit geometry. Uh, so I can navigate around it. It does not allow me to select it because it, it, it's live linked into the Revit environment. It doesn't allow me to select it. So what I can actually do in here is I can, I'm just going to go to my top view. And the top view and what I'm going to do is just uh, I'm gonna draw some surfaces that I can basically extrude. Some rectangles maybe there. now do is I can actually extrude this um, yeah oh, that's the right view into my uh, orthographic so I'm going to extrude up this geometry so this could be just a massive study for, for architects or, or any type of designers I'm just going to add a pitch on that just to make it a bit more interesting that goes down geometry so that's just some form of geometry uh, what I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to geolocate this site as well just to pull in some terrain and then that terrain can get pulled into the Revit environment as well. So I'm just going to zoom into kind of any location here. This area here, let's say. So I'm just going to go to import geometry. So let's say that's our site. Uh, finish importing. It's brought in uh, just the surface or, or uh, surface satellite image of that. So obviously I want to move. Uh, we, we don't want to be building on the road, so we want to maybe move that back. Let's say all these buildings are getting demolished. Uh, I could then, you know, go to my top view. Uh, I could rotate this if I wanted to, obviously align with the road. I'm going to do, and then maybe there's, maybe you want to move this as well. Uh, maybe it's going to go down this part of the site. Rotate on that. Maybe I want to just line that up with the road also. So we've kind of got our three buildings. We also have our existing buildings that maybe exist on the site as well. Um, so what you can actually do in here, because I imported the terrain model, uh, that when I set the location, it brings in something called the terrain model, and that's just taken from satellite imagery. Um, so what I can do is actually turn off that and turn on terrain, and you can see it actually captures uh, some of the topography of the site. Uh, and obviously my building is now uh, submerged almost in the ground, so I need to then obviously increase that level. Uh, so what I can actually do with that is I can... Uh, so with all my models here, I can actually increase these. Uh, so I can just pull them up to kind of that sort of height. Yeah, make sure they're, they're kind of sitting off the ground. And then inside Revit, what I'm going to do now is actually push this into Revit. So top right, go into push Revit, uh, all visible. So it will push in everything. It will not replace this in my Revit environment because it knows that that already existed in there. So what I can now do in here, I can see it's brought in the terrain. It doesn't bring in the imagery. Uh, it does bring in the terrain though and then I now I need to, to go and edit the levels of these buildings here. So I can just go back in here. So we can see now that I've edited my Revit geometry, just moved it up a level um, and it's brought in all of my um, all of my format geometry. And that is how you bring uh, format geometry between Revit uh, from format and back into Revit itself using that geometry uh, to uh, model your proposed design or maybe some surrounding context uh, of a particular site.